The ability to reproduce, which is a property of all living organisms, ensures that a species continues existing even if individual organisms don't usually live for that long. The two principal ways in which organisms can reproduce by asexual or sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is a form of reproduction that creates offspring that are genetically identical to one parent without the need for sperm or egg cells, also known as gametes. It is often a quick process. Various organisms use different forms of asexual reproduction. For example, flatworms undergo a process called fragmentation in which they divide in two. Each half then regenerates into new flatworm, which is identical to the original. In nature, asexual reproduction has several advantages. As it eliminates the need to find a mate, it's easier for a species to perpetuate itself, even if it's isolated. Furthermore, it requires less time and energy to reproduce asexually than sexually. One disadvantage is that it produces genetically identical organisms. So if the environment becomes less favorable to survival, the population of identical organisms could be at risk of becoming extinct. Sexual reproduction is a form of reproduction involving fusion of gametes, producing genetically unique offspring. It requires the fertilization of an egg by a sperm cell to generate a zygote. This zygote eventually becomes an embryo once it has undergone several rounds of cell division and development. In mammals, when the embryo has developed further, it is called a fetus. Sexual reproduction results in offspring with a mix of genetic information from the two parents. This is an advantage in an ever-changing environment as it increases the chances that at least some offspring will survive and reproduce. The reproductive system consists of structures involved in the formation of offspring. In mammals, these structures include the testes, penis and associated glands in a male and the ovary, fallopian tubes, uterus, breasts and associated glands in a female. The reproductive system supports the production of offspring in several ways. First, it aids in the production of hormones that influence the sexual traits of males and females. Second, it produces the egg and sperm cells required for the production of offspring. Third, it is involved in the sustenance and transportation of sperm and egg cells during reproduction. And finally, the reproductive system is vital for the survival and development of offspring. <laughs>